Here's a look at the scene in Baltimore, Maryland tonight. There has been chaos and violence in the streets for several hours. Rioters storming certain parts of the city in the west, looting stores, setting buildings and cars on fire. Baltimore's mayor has just announced a curfew saying, quote, thugs are trying to tear down the city and incite violence. So many people around me are confused. And honestly, I could say that I am too. But if we stopped and took the time to take it all in, we'd see a world of corruption and hearts breaking within. And I wonder what other people are making of this. Am I the only one that sees the crowd shaking their fists? As I look out my windows just by taking a glimpse, I notice the issues and they're making me cringe. And I'm afraid that it's time to wake up. 12-year-old girls dousing their faces in makeup. Teens killing themselves over emotional breakups, popping pills in the bathrooms, hoping that they won't wake up. And we just watch from the sidelines as the truth shakes us, debating whether sin's real, not seeing what it's made us. We search for solutions but refuse to create them, so as our country grows chaotic, we find no ultimatum. We are wading deep within water, high to our waist. Men acting like animals while hiding their faces. Treating women like dirt, can I deny this disgrace? Or am I fine with watching vids and then hiding the pages? People killing people, so I try to erase these images from my brain, but I can't replace the innocence I once had before I made mistakes, but it is through these mistakes that I am remade. And the reality is that reality is they're as real to us as where we are now. Day in and day out, we blend in with the crowd, doing all the same things, expecting change to abound. So I stop, dead in my tracks, not sure if I should move, hot lead at my back. I'm forced into corners, no more can I think. Into absolute darkness, I begin to sink. The world is constantly changing. While time is rearranging, everything going on, it is driving me crazy. In the midst of a place that we know so well, there are so many questions and only time will tell. Who would choose death? Who would choose life? Who will let Satan approach with a knife, not resisting as he drives it down the center of their spine? And who will let hatred build in their heart, cheat on their spouse, rip their families apart? Who will quit loving and settle for divorce, looking into the eyes of who they loved before, uttering the words, I want you no more? And when a child only walks his or her own course, who will throw a backhand over unfinished chores? Trying to solve the issue using physical force. So day after day, the child falls to the floor, asking God why his mother doesn't love him anymore. The reality is that reality is not as real to us as where we are now. Day in and day out, we blend in with the crowd, doing all the same things, expecting change to abound. So we stop, dead in our tracks, not sure if we should move, hot lead at our backs. We're forced into corners, no more can we think. Into absolute darkness, we begin to sink. But it is in this darkness and loneliness that I evaluate life, and it has shown me this. Though there are so many differences within our lives, we all can relate, because we live and we die. So as I head to my grave, I can't help but think. When I'm in the dirt, what will be remembered of me? So we all can agree that the world has flaws, but only some can recognize and admit the cause. We are all sinners in need of a savior, and this should be obvious based off our behavior. So as I head to the grave, as I pass by this world, as I pass by my friendships, the emotional whirlwinds, through elementary and middle, high school and college, I will value the passion, the love, and the knowledge. Through marriage and loving my kids and my wife, I will treasure the memories throughout my life. But I won't take for granted where I know I'll end up. Because as my heart stops beating and the hole's been dug, as my body is lowered and the dirt is filled in, some will be sad, but the world still spins. At the end of our lives, no matter what you believe, if you've been told nothing happens, then you've been deceived. So as I pass through this world, as I live, as I die, I recognize that in dying, I begin my life. The corruption around me, around us is so small when it's compared to the one who defeated it all. Reality is that reality is not as real to us as where we are now. Day in and day out we blend in with the crowd doing all the same things expecting change to abound. <laughs>